Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is uh, Paul Wallace. I'm a trader and coach for Trading Beliefs. And uh, uh, Moose and the team of the Investing Channel have asked me in to sort of have a chat about a, a particular area of interest for myself at the moment. And uh, in particular, what I want to talk about was uh, Boeing and how uh, you know it might be seen that they are no longer flying high at this particular uh, moment. Uh, unfortunately, we've had those you know those recent uh, terrible crashes okay, uh, with a fatal loss of life there for the uh, Boeing 737 Max, uh, and undoubtedly there is a, a great deal of uh, effort and work going in on uh, Boeing's part to to understand what actually happened there uh, to find a solution. At the moment, the uh, Boeing 737 Max is uh, I understand sort of grounded until May, and I'm sure that there are sort of aviation specialists who could cover the sort of intricate details of what has uh, what has occurred far better than I. You know, I'm, I'm merely a trader with an interest in the aviation sector but you know what is of interest and importance to me is my understanding is that you know the sort of 737 you know most of us will have flown on 737s okay at one point in our life it has been uh, you know as, as a friend of mine said it's been around since Pontius was a pilot so it's a it's a case of you know we know it and understand it uh, and it's a case of you know I think it under makes up around about 50 percent of uh, Boeing's production value and the 737 max is uh, is part of uh, underestimate to, to make up about 33 percent about a third of their future income stream so it's a major part of their uh, portfolio so we're interested to look at well what impact if any has that had upon the uh, the actual sort of stock price so if we have a look at my uh, first chart here and, and what I've got here is this is uh, just a simple chart of uh, of Boeing on the the monthly now you can see that over the last few years you know if you were if you're a shareholder you know or if you were a long trader on uh, on uh, Boeing then you know invariably it's uh, it's been a, a you know a, you know a fantastic ride okay an absolutely super ride it broke out of that uh, of that range sort of at the end of 2016 started 2016 17 and, and it has really been uh, quite an Im impressive move. But what we can see there is, uh, of course, that, you know, uh, this month uh, we've seen, you know, a, uh, a collapse in the share price. Now, what I might add is that, you know, this is a monthly chart. That is a monthly candle. We're here, here we are on the 20th of March. You know, that candle is yet to uh, to complete. We've still got a, uh, a good few, uh, about so seven, eight trading days to, to work through. But uh, invariably, you know, the, the picture there doesn't look uh, terribly pretty. But if we go down to the, uh, the the weekly chart, okay, hopefully that'll give us a little bit more indication. Uh, you know, you can see, you know, we saw that you know great run through 2017, and, and I've just put a little blue rectangle there around uh, the uh, the area of uh, Boeing there, uh, and yeah, you know, that was really for the for the whole of 2018, the sort of the price bounced between around about 300 and 375. Okay, you can see there there was a, a great deal of uh, chop consolidation. Then it actually looked as if uh, you know it might be rolling over, and then it sort of came down, and and, and what we found was some excellent support at uh, pretty much big round number, $300, uh, and then we launched ourselves north, okay, and we rose up to around about, you know, those highs, okay, all-time highs around about 445, but then, of course, as the uh, as the news of those crashes comes out, as the news of those groundings has uh, has has occurred, well then invariably, you know, we saw a uh, we saw a little bit of a collapse in the uh, in the share price, and and if we go down to the uh, to the daily chart there, you know, to, to look at that. Hopefully you can sort of see that, you know, we can see there where uh, price gapped down there, okay? Price gapped down and, and continued down. Uh, you know, and, and now we're back down to sort of that, that sort of a range of saying that, you know, we're in that sort of between 360 to 375, okay? We're in a, a support zone there. And what we're looking to see is, you know, will that price actually hold, okay? You know, the, will it actually hold? Will there be, you know, as the, uh, as the Boeing software engineers chisel away, okay, at, uh, at in fact finding a, a proper solution, okay? Will that have a, a positive impact on the price? Prices, or will there be more news that comes out of the uh, the closet that actually is uh, doesn't sort of uh, appear too favourable for the the share price? So you know we're, we're looking at that. I, I look at that particularly at a, as a bit of an inflection point, and I, and I sort of see levels of support there down at sort of 370, 360, 350, and then you're down to sort of the 300 level. Okay, so it's a, it's definitely a share to have on the uh, sort of watch and shoot list. Okay, and just keep an eye on that, uh, and undoubtedly we will see what happens with that over the next uh, coming days and weeks. I hope you found that useful. I wish you the best of success in your own trading. I look forward to speaking to you soon. Trade well, ladies and gentlemen.